Welcome to Against the Storm, folks. I'm pretty excited for this one. The devs were kind enough to give me a little bit early access so that I can make this video. And I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much uh, for that, uh, Aramid Games. It's, it looks like a really exciting game. It's won a lot of awards at uh, exhibitions and stuff like that. It's an indie game. And it's a roguelite city builder set in a fantasy world where it never stops raining. And we're playing as the Queen's Viceroy, uh, a pioneer sent into uh, the wilds to establish and manage new settlements inhabited by beavers, lizards, and humans. Uh, our goal is to survive long enough to gather uh, resources to rebuild and upgrade a smoldering city uh, which is the only safe haven against a blight storm which is uh, as it says here a vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything in its path so yeah it's uh, it seems really cool i had a quick uh, little play just to s see what it's like and it has some pretty uh, cool features like um oh, a uh, cool progression system, a uh, dungeon keeper like ex uh, exploration. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. And I can't wait to show you guys uh, my first impressions of this game. So let's uh, jump in. And one cool thing is that because I created a small uh, city and uh, then I quit and I had to, and I destroyed that city, but apparently, it's one big world, so when I go in and build a new city, it'll actually be a progression from the old one, which is pretty darn cool. And the graphics are pretty nice as well, nice uh, imagery and, and stuff like that. So what do we have here? So, okay. So, will villagers with low resolve will start leaving. Okay, keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Okay. And satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's get started. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. So we have the humans. Uh, we have uh, farmers can plant only on farm fields and those can only be built on fertile soil, which I guess is up here. What are those though? Crops uh, are planted in the first season, drizzle and harvested during the second, clearance, okay? Build by farm, harvest grain and serve some ale in a tavern okay so we have the humans an adaptable species but very susceptible to the rain humans are adept at farming and love to cook uh, uh, the beavers hard working peaceful and honest people beavers are gifted woodworkers and enjoy working with rain punk technology whatever that is we haven't unlocked that yet uh, lizards are very good with animals and meat production they also prefer to work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature okay okay so we can pick a blueprint so down here we have reputation and the queen's impatience uh so let's pick uh we'll get the small farm i guess because that's uh so for the soil hostility of forest is turned down in future games more actions will increase its level and penalties okay so uh we have a woodcutter's camp a stonecutter's camp a scavenger's camp uh we have roads we have some shelter we have industry crude workstation uh storage makeshift hearth and a trading post and we have some decorations okay food production small farm all right well i guess we'll put a small farm down up here uh where can we get the most? Uh, let's build it there. And we'll unpause. Uh, we'll also get a uh, woodcutter's camp. 
And we have these uh, glades that we can unlock. So let's build this here. Uh, if you find uh, Against the Storm interesting and you would like us to see a full playthrough of this, uh, let me know in the uh, comments and by hitting the like button. Uh, because if it seems like something that you'd like to see more of, uh, we could do a full playthrough of this. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right, we need to assign some people. Uh, we'll assign two humans to this because they were good at farming. And here uh, we'll assign our three beavers because they are good wood cutters. And we will mark some trees for harvesting. So we'll mark these so that we unlock these two uh, glades here. I have no idea what's in the glades. Not a clue. Uh, what do we have here? We have rewards, a woodcutter's camp, shelter. We'll get some rewards for that. Uh, agriculture, we have the farm. We need farm fields, uh, which we I guess we need to place down. So we get rewards for this. So how do we place, place down farm fields? Uh, let's see, farm field. Uh, I guess we'll place those down there. All right, uh, assign more woodcutters. Uh, we already have three assigned. We don't have any more. Uh, all right, so let's build. Uh, let's build some housing. Build a shelter here and here, I guess. And maybe some storage. Well, we don't have what it takes to build storage. Okay. What decorations do we have? A bench and a bush. Okay. Uh, do we put down some roads here? I guess we do. And over to here, I guess. So we're planting here. I don't know why it's beavers doing that when it's humans I've set to do it. Okay, we're getting our shelters up. Good, good. And we can prioritize the building as well, which is pretty cool. So we can see here, we can set a priority. We don't need to do that right now, though. Okay. Uh, we need to get a second woodcutter's hut, don't we? Uh, uh, let's see. So we have this one delivered. So we get one reputation for that. Cool. And we have two shelters. We need another woodcutter's camp. We need another woodcutter's camp. So let's build another woodcutter's camp. And we'll build it over here, I guess. Let's build it there. And we'll get the road going down to that. Okay, so we opened this. What is that? Uh... Simple tools. Okay. Well, let's assign a couple of workers to this. Um, goods. I think I want this one. Investigate. Okay. What are these? Worm tongue nest, small. A nest full of tasty worm tongues. That doesn't sound very tasty. 
The slick shell brood mother. Small slick shells are crawling out of the openings of the brood mother shell. It's easy to collect them. Okay, get gathered via trapper's camp. Okay. So can we build a trapper's camp? No. Are these something? Flax field big. Resilient perfect cloth, cloth making. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, we have our reward, so we get some beavers, we get some reputation, wonderful. Alright. Ooh, a brewery and ale. Uh, grain. Okay. So our... Reputation is now up to two, which is good. So Trapper's Camp, let's pick that. And the Brewery, let's pick that as well. So a Trapper's Camp. I guess we'll build that over here. Um, something like there. Uh, let's assign some beavers to this area here. And we'll mark these trees for cutting. Cool, cool, cool. Right, so we're going to need more shelters. Uh, shelter. We'll put a shelter here and a shelter here. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So we need one more. Let's put one up here. All right, so that's more shelters. Watch this. Urban Runebreak Royal Stormwalker. These people have been sent here by the Crown. Which group do you want to stay by, Sora? The other will continue to the next settlement. Um, I think I'll take a lizard and a beaver because we have five humans already. All right, so this... Uh, keep goods. Uh, keep goods. So, do we need to do anything here? Uh, what what do we need to do? Are they grabbing stuff for us or what? I hope so. All right, so the queen's impatience is growing a little bit now. Uh, oh, there's another one here. Nice. All right, so we'll send two lizards to deal with... Well, a lizard and a human to deal with that. And we'll choose a reward. And I think... Half a reputation point. Let's do that. Okay. Did we build the trapper's hut? I don't think we did. No. Like a cornerstone. What's a cornerstone? The queen's envoy. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely and you won't be able to change it. Okay. Barrel delivery line. Barrels. Five barrels per minute. Reinforced tools, plus 50% to amount of goods produced in the small farm. Um, let's do barrels, for whatever reason. Uh, we can add another beaver to this woodcutter's camp. And we need to build this trapper's hut. Oh, we have it. Uh, so I want two lizards here. And... We can... Are they doing it automatically? I think it is. They are. Yeah, they are. Good. Outstanding. Fantastic. Hostility of the forest. Uh, for the time... Uh, uh, so, what do we have? Hostility of the forest, level zero. Okay. A looming darkness. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. Stacks with hostility level. Minus five to global resolve. 
Uh, homeless villagers have a plus 10% chance of dying every 60 seconds during the storm. Okay. Uh, so we, we need another shelter. We need another shelter. Uh, let's bring this road like this. And when we'll do a shelter here. And I think if we do... So we have the trapper's camp. Uh, we have a brewery and a crude workstation can produce planks, fabric, and bricks. Okay. City buildings. Uh, I, I think we'll make a small hearth here because they like being in warm areas. So if we build a hearth, maybe they'll like that. Alright, so we have homes for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 people. We have 15, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, we have an order that's ready to complete. First yield, beautiful. We get some fabric, we get some bricks, and we get a reputation point. Deliver that. We need to build a brewery. All right, a brewery, uh, so industry, uh, brewery, we don't have the planks, so we need a small workstation, uh, let's build that here, okay, we can pick a new blueprint, uh, what's that, smokehouse, okay, uh, can produce jerky, pottery, and incense, all right, let's pick that. So we need some planks, so we need to get this built. And this was taken care of. Good. Uh, we have some new objectives. A place for rest, a tavern, and a leisure. And then humans resolve. Okay. Um, let's get a couple of humans in here, and we really want to produce planks, so let's do that for now. Now, uh, the storage, we can build a storage. Let's build it down here so that we can get a path going around it. I'm not sure what the path is good for, but let's build it. Uh, path there. Okay. Small abandoned cache is waiting for your... Okay. Uh, so... Coats, barrels, fabric. Um, let's get you two. And I think we'll keep the goods for now. And we'll mark these trees for clearing. There's something nasty down here. So we, we don't want to go there. Not right now, anyway. Unassigned workers. Uh, okay. We have no workers available. Uh, come on, go. So coal, oil, and wood. That's fine. We need to unassign a worker somewhere. 
Let's unassign one of you. Uh, so, uh, how do I there? Okay. So we'll get these two glades open. This is a big one. Right, I think this game seems really cool. I think it seems really cool. We haven't seen any uh, combat yet. Uh, if there is combat. Newcomers are waiting. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we'll get two and one. So we have 11, 15 people right now, right? So, except that, that gives us uh, more people. Well, that gives us 18, which is what we can support right now. Uh, efficient brewing plus 50% to the amount of goods produced in the brewery. Grain bank, specialist grain, specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. Uh, let's do the brewing. Who doesn't like a nice bit of ale? All right, this is being built. Uh, we have some fertile land here, so let's mark these trees for clearing. And that'll be fine. All right, we have the hearth, so our peeps can get warm. So that hopefully will make them a little bit happier. The human resolve has gone up a little bit. Uh, let's say 20. Uh, 20. Uh, and 20 and we'll do this right. we have a storage now which is nice we have some meat vegetables, mushrooms wood, we have a lot of wood uh, valuable goods, parts uh, simple tools, planks, resin, plant fiber, insects, uh, grain, amber, pottery, mush soup, uh, bricks, eggs, barrels, leather, coats. Okay, can we give our people coats? Uh... Okay, needs jerky, biscuits, pie, human housing, clothing, leisure, religion. Okay. What about you? Right, you have clothing. Uh, what about builder? So, global effects for Sol, plus four, basic housing, sacred pyre, okay. Uh, we need to build that brewery, don't we? Yeah, let's build that brewery. Um, so, industry, brewery, I think we'll build it right here. And to try and keep uh, our buildings together. We might need a new woodcutter's hut. We could tear this one down. Because it can't 
We can't reach what we needed to reach. So, ah, oh, we can move it. Nice. So let's move it down here. And we'll move this one over here. Uh, can we assign a beaver more to this? Yes, we can. All right. Uh, I think this should be humans. We we'll make ale, wine, and mush soup. We will get twenty of each, I guess. I'm trying to stay at that level. Okay, we have humans signed there. Uh, we have an order that's ready to complete. Uh, so that is... Ooh, happy humans, nice. So we get a mold supply, plus one to grain production, gain additional grain every shield, or from gathering, farming, or production, okay. And 20 reed, you get a reputation point. Not bad. Not bad. And we get the tavern. Yay. All right, cool. Um, can I delete these roads? Uh, all right, let's see a tavern. Ooh, that thing is big. Okay. So we need to tear that out. Uh, trading post. Uh, we should get that as well, shouldn't we? Now, pattern. Uh, how big is the trading post? Pretty big too. It'll fit back here though, so we'll build it there and we'll build a path down there. And over here, I guess. Alright, we opened this up. What's that? Dewberry bush. Okay. Cool, cool. And some fertile land. Uh, hopefully, there's no dangerous stuff down here, no. There's danger right there. Alright, we have an order ready to complete, and we have... Uh, let's get one of each. And we need to build a new shelter. Um, we'll fit right here. So we have 15, 21 people now. So once we get this shelter, we'll be fine. A tavern, let's assign a... Hmm. Human to that. And we have another order ready to complete. Brewing ale, very nice. Nice rewards. Deliver that. This is going well. And we have new buildings. Makeshift post can produce pack of crops, pack of provisions, pack of building materials. Okay. And then uh, so can we only get one of these? Or will we get the others as we go along? Uh, let's get the human house now. We have most humans, so... Uh, human house. Let's see, how big is it? Let's build a human house there. Uh, 
so this thing needs to be fueled at all time. The heart of the colony is protected by the holy flame. Villagers gather here to rest, eat, and receive clothing. If the fire goes out, people will lose hope. So it has to be burning at all time. I like this game so far. I really, really do. Uh, let's build a trapper's camp here. Now, I don't know what the scavenger's camp is for. Uh, Trader Sahilda has left the town. Okay. Uh, makeshift post. Uh, we'll fit in there. This game seems really cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Alright, we have this, so we'll put... Two of our lizard guys on there. Because we have these things. Gathered beer. Herbalist camp. Okay. We need someone in here. You can put a human and a uh, lizard on that. Right, I think we'll mark some more trees for clearing. Uh, down here you have trees for clearing that's all good did we get our human housing we did and there are two humans that can live there so we need basically four of these uh you know what let's not build that one just yet and then we can take out some shelter when this one is built. We can take out uh, some shelter, which is nice. Anything here? No. Leisure. Okay, so one more leisure, and we get two beavers, some simple tools, 50 barrels, and some more favor. Uh, goods packed for delivery used for fulfilling orders of trading produced in makeshift post rain punk foundry and the provisioner okay so we need this uh, makeshift post thing um, where do we put that I really don't want to tear any of that out. Let's put the makeshift post there. We'll have a path go down here and a path go over there. Okay. Uh, let's speed up a bit. We could do another farm. How are we doing? Food. Building materials. Crafting resources. Trade goods. Fuel and exploration. Mush soup one. Insects. Okay. All right, we need to pick a cornerstone. Newcomers are waiting. Okay. So, newcomers, um, let's get two lizards and a human. Uh, cornerstone nets plus two to meat production. Gain additional meat every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Gain 40 meat every time a village dies or leaves. No, we're not doing cannibalism. Uh, we'll do this. 
Very cool. We have an order ready to deliver. Fantastic. And we have a clothier. Cool. Is the is this finite or twelve of fifteen charges? Fifteen of fifteen charges. Ten of fifteen charges. Yeah, so they go away. Okay. You can reach that one up there. Good. Alright, we need someone in here. Uh, let's get a human and a beaver in there. Can you reach this word? Kinda. Uh, let's move you back here. Now you definitely can. And we'll mark this for... Alright, you won! The villager's position is secured. You can now choose to leave or continue to play on this map. But you wouldn't but you won't earn any additional experience. Okay. So we won this map. We get some experience points, food stockpiles, and a new and two new citadel upgrades available. Uh let's go to the world map and see what's what this is all about. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Cool. All right, Tutorial Town. So, we can then choose somewhere else to build, I guess. Uh, there. Wow, the map is big. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Uh, let's go down here. Stonewood infestation. The trees are much sturdier here. Cutting them takes a lot more time. Royal Woods. Normal. 12, 12. So, magnitude mild. Effects plus 10%. Rewards 10 food and 60 something. I think that's food. I'm not sure. Uh, all right. Let's go here. Uh, all right. Royal Woodlands. The Queen's Forests were once part of the smoldering city, but the Blight Storm reclaimed this land. The Royal Woodlands are rich in, the, in roots, moss, broccoli, grass, cap, mushroom, and flax with a decent amount of dewberries and clay. The ground is fertile and soft, and that makes it perfect for farming. A map size medium, difficulty normal, length 12 and 12, soil average amount. Alright, and we get some rewards. Woodland Town, a town specialized in woodwork. It provides access to wood, plank, root, grass cap, mushroom, and grain trade routes. Plus 60 in experience, and... Food stockpiles, luxury item, basic currency in the realm. Workers are eager to exchange their labor for food for their families. Can be used to buy upgrades in the smoldering city. Okay. What's the smoldering city then? Let's have a look here. Oh, cool. This game is much bigger than I thought. Artifacts, uh, curiosities of varying nature. Fascinating, sinister, both and all between, can be used for buying more advanced upgrades in the smoldering city. Uh, food stockpiles, all right, and machinery. We have 20 of 150 experience, we're level two. We have spices from the citadel, a trade route, uh, human and lizard folk favorites, plus one to global resolve, 10 stone per minute. A clay delivery lane, 10 clay per minute, and a pottery trade route. Five pottery per minute. Uh, D unlock obsidian archive level one to access deeds. Okay, what's deeds? Uh, 
What's this? Obsidian Archive Level 1. A fundamental upgrade, a place where records about great viceroys are kept. Unlock steeds. Corner stone pool increase library. Uh, uh, rain collector mine paved road. Oh, this is cool. Let's unlock this. And go see what steeds. Okay, phase of the moth. Phase of the leech, phase of the slick shell, phase of the mist worm, phase of the sealed ones. I am loving this game. Okay, discover 30 glades. Uh, discovery 150 experience. Orders from the queen. Complete 30 orders. Uh, okay. Deeper into the wilds. Build a settlement at least four fields away from the citadel. 50 experience. Alright, let's track this and track this. What's this? Win a game with at least 35 villagers. I am loving this! Win three games. Well, we won one. Win a game near the fertile grounds modifier. Okay. Alright. This is really cool. Uh, so we could do one here because this is the first light grounds modifier, right? So if we do one here, uh, map size medium, difficulty normal, 12 12, average amount. The Queen's forests were once part of the smoldering city, but the Blackstone reclaimed this land. The royal woodlands are rich in roots, moss, broccoli, grass cap, mushrooms, and flax with a decent amount of dewberries and clay. Okay. Let's name our set settlement a uh, nerdy town. Okay. We get some bonuses. Uh, right, let's embark. Uh, yes, I want to uh, know what. Oh, okay. So I have to select them. All right, embark. And then I guess we start a new town. Forest mysteries, cricket mating grounds. Okay, mushrooms after rain. Clearings buzz with cricket sounds. Gain thirty insects for each discovered glade. Plus three to mushrooms production. Gain additional mushrooms every yield. Okay. Heavy drops active in drizzle. Plus five to spark dew production. Gain additional spark dew every yield. Looming darkness. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. Stacks with hostility level minus five to global resolve. Creeping shadows. Discovering a glade during the storm will decrease global resolve by minus five for three minutes. Okay. And nauseous spores fulfill at least the following needs services times one uh, stagnant break increased plus 200 percent normal time okay so basically we're starting a new town all right well uh let me know if you want to see more of uh, of this game against the storm it seems like a really really cool game and I, for one, would love to play a lot more of it. Uh, so if you want to see more of Against the Storm, make sure to hit the like button and comment more, please, uh, so that I know that you want to see more of this. I think this is awesome. I do want to try and zoom in a little bit before we leave, uh, just to see. Can we see what they look like? Not really. To begin with, I thought these guys were beavers because of the thing, but these guys are the beavers. It's very, very nice, and it's cool graphics. It looks good. Uh, overall, very, very well done, developers. I am very impressed with this game, and I can't wait to play more of it. So I hope that you guys can't wait to play more of it either, or see me play more of it, because I really hope that you want uh, to make a series out of this. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.